Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Vault Hunters. We're back. Uh, it's the second ever recording session. Uh, I think the series has been has been fun so far, and I've been enjoying it. So we're gonna we're gonna do another recording session. We're gonna see how it goes. Uh, shout out to our pal Zimby uh, for naming the lovely town of Mapleburg. Shout out to Zimby. It's a great name. I I, I thought it was pretty good. So we're we're going with that one. Also, let's zip on over to the castle real quick and on up the stairs. And we've got to give a shout out to uh, Bob the God as well for uh, naming our golem friend Mark. I don't have a name tag yet, but uh, as soon as we do, we're gonna we're gonna assign this guy the name Mark. Uh, I'm down for that. I think Mark is a, is a fine named. He's a fine gentleman. He, he does get in our way from time to time, but uh, that's okay. Uh, you'll notice that there is a portal open right now. There's a vault ready to go. That's because I needed to get a thumbnail for the Pirate Week uh, special that I did. So uh, pardon the portal. It's open and ready to go. Where on earth did we leave off last time? Let's have a quick look at our quest book. What were we doing? We did just make a bounty table last time, right? Yes. And we completed a bounty by the looks of it. We're going to get some bounty pearls from doing that. Excellent stuff. We're moving right along. Let's get our bounty pearls into our bounty table. Our active bounty right now is done, and we didn't complete it last time. Holy crap, let's go ahead and do that then. Starting off the first episode of the new streaming session, recording session, with loot! Look at that, loot. That wasn't actually very much, but it's fine. We'll take it. We knew what we were getting. A lot more emeralds, which is really good. I We're getting kind of low on emeralds. And a, kind of a kind of a not very good jewel. It's 76 size, so it's a big jewel. But it does give it off a lot of mining speed. And we got some knowledge essence, which is really important as well. Uh, where on earth is any of our stuff? It's all upstairs, isn't it? Oh my goodness. We are going to have to do something about this sooner than later. Holy cow. Uh, yeah. That's, um... Yeah, wow. Everything is kind of all over the place. All right, what's next on the quest book? We've got the tool station. The tool station can be used to craft tools that are able to significantly enhance your experience in the vaults. It can also be used to craft jewels that can be applied to your vault tool. Okay, so we need to build ourselves a tool station. We're going to get some gemstones for doing that. So that sounds like a good idea. Tool station. Tool. Two words now. Come on. Tool station. It's right here. Let's pin the recipe just in case. We need some driftwood, a crafting table, and some chromatic iron, which is... Fairly easy to do. I think we've got quite a decent amount of all of that. Three chromatic iron, no problem. Four driftwood. Very good. And a crafting table is just four regular wooden planks. Or oh, look, we had a crafting table ready to go already. Boom, boom, bish, bosh, bosh, tool station, donezo. Now we can have a cheeky little nap. What is the date and time as well? Hold on one second. That's better. Day five. That doesn't seem right. Has it only been five days since we've been here? All right, we're not doing so bad. All right, where do we want to do all of our workshop stuff, like our tool station and stuff like that? Let's let, maybe put that down here. Maybe, maybe under the stairs? No, maybe, is this a new room? What's in here? Oh my goodness, there's so many side rooms. Where does this go? Okay, so this just, this is like a big loop around. It's kind of uh, claustrophobic. Not a big fan. Okay, let's, uh, let's put the tool station. Hi, are you guys busy? Can I? Help you with something. I'm going to put the tool station there. Uh, all right. Uh, what does the book say now? We get two gemstones from that. Good. Good, good, good. Vault tools are the successor to vanilla tools. They can be modified with jewels to apply new affinities and traits to the tool. Affinities allow you to break chests and coins at a significantly faster speed enabling you to instantly mine all coins and chests, apart from the wooden ones. Uh, there are also jewels that can change the tool's functionality to include that of another. For example, you could put a shoveling jewel on a pick to create a mattock that can mine as fast as a pickaxe and dig as quick as a shovel. Okay, craft a chromatic iron pick. We're going to get a uh, chip jewel, 50 size, ornate affinity. So that'll make us, uh, that'll help us mine ornate chests faster what do we need for a chromatic iron pick we need nine chromatic iron two driftwood and eight vault bronze okay we're gonna have to start paying for our stuff now this is where the money comes in hand in handy uh you do have to pay for stuff okay we'll take our vault bronze we'll take some chromatic iron and we'll take our driftwood because we might want to make one or two more tools here we'll see uh I'm going to forget where this tool station is all the time. All right. Chromatic iron pick. Let's make one. Boom. Look at that. 
completed a quest. Our first chromatic iron pick. Okay, so the book, what do you say now? We get a new uh, jewel, right? 50 size, ornate affinity. We could put that on our pick, um, but it would take up half of the pick's capacity already just to get affinity on there. I don't know if that's worth it. Probably not. Uh, so this is new, the jewel, the jewel applicator. Uh, I believe this just came out in update 10, and we are on update 10 now. Uh, so I believe this is new. So learn with me, because uh, this is all new to me too. The jewel applicator makes applying jewels to your tools as simple as ever. As a little typo there. Uh, as simple as ever by providing you with the means of easily seeing the outcome of your tool. The jewel applicator has three parts of its inventory. The left side is where you can put the jewels, showing off the total outcome of if they were placed on your tool. The middle is where you can place your tool and can also see the visual output of combining tool type jewels, like shoveling or axing, for example. Okay. Lastly, the right side will show you the updated stats using the jewels placed on the left side, automatically calculating capacity and all your prefixes and suffixes as you place jewels into the applicator. That sounds pretty great. Each jewel is given a size, which can roll from 10 to 90, and this decides how much of the capacity your tool will be used up. Okay, cool. Acquire a jewel applicator, and we're going to be given four chromatic steel. Holy crap, that's actually pretty good. Chromatic steel is a little bit of a harder resource to come by at the beginning. Uh, okay, a jewel applicator. Let's have a look. Some planks, another crafting table, an anvil, and a gemstone. Okay, we should have all of that, right? We've got enough... We've got some plank. What was it? Some planks. Yeah, we've got enough for a crafting table. Do we have an anvil? We might have to go steal an anvil. And we've got our gemstones in our pockets. Do we have one here? It probably needs to be a brand new, freshly crafted anvil. Do we have that? Do we have any iron? Uh oh, I might need to go back down into the mines for a bit. How much iron do we have? We've got two, two singular ore right there. Oh boy. All right. Yeah, we might need to go do some mining. Because this is only going to give us one block of iron, and we need two more. And some more nuggies as well. Oh, that's gold. Okay, that's why that's not stacking. That makes sense. They are two different uh, different things. This is gold, and this is iron. Those are different resources. Science time with Swirly Pilgrim. Gold and iron are different. Did you know? Okay, I'm going to run down to the mines, do some digging, and I will be back momentarily with uh, some resources. We're going to have to use our old pick, because I think it's got efficiency, yeah. It's got efficiency. We could we could put looting on this now, since we're probably only going to use this in the overworld now. And we've got some emeralds to do some enchanting. Did we get an enchanting table yet? Is that a, Have we gotten that far in the quest book? Is this what this is? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Whew. Where's our, where are our emeralds? 16 there. Uh, let's get looting on this pick before we go try to get some iron, because that'll just really speed things up. And we're going to need a looting pick anyway for when we bring our silk-touched loot out of the vault with us. Because looting doesn't work in the vault, but that doesn't mean we can't silk-touch the ore in the vault, take it outside the vault, and loot it then. Ha-ha! Sneaky, sneaky tricks! Bikes and trikes. Uh, let's see. Fortune 3. Let's get it. Uh, you know what? Let's get mending on here, too. Might as well. Did I not? There we go. Uh, we don't want silk touch on that one. So we might as well. Do we want to put on breaking on it? Increase its durability? That would make sense. But with mending on it, is it absolutely necessary? No. But when have I ever worried about being absolutely necessary. I don't min max. I uh, I regret to inform anybody. If you're if you're hoping to get some min maxing in this series, uh, I apologize in advance because I uh, not my not my style. I am stubborn. <laughs> I will do things so they look good, based more so around on if they're practical or not. So I apologize in advance, but we're gonna have a good time. I will be back with some iron. I'll see you in a second. Uh, oh boy, um, it seems our villagers may have, uh, had a bit of an issue while I was gone. Um, there seems to be quite a few zombies around. Um, let me just quickly clear out these fellas, because that's not very nice. But you, you're one of my own. You are a Mapleburg resident, so we're gonna have to try to do something about this. Uh, hold on. I know. I, give me one second. I just need to make a boat. Doesn't seem like the cure, but hear me out. Hold on. 
You'll notice my GUI is bigger as well. Shoutouts to uh, Mark the Iron Golem's father, Bob the God again, for uh, recommending that I change the size of my GUI uh, because it was very tiny. It's a lot easier now to see the menu. Zombie friend, I need you to come... Uh, well, maybe not in here. Ow! Okay, someone else lives in here. I'm sorry, whoever just lived here, but your house... Okay. That's what I get for trying to help. Oh, God, there's two of them now. Uh, okay, um, my bad. Sorry, I probably shouldn't have let that guy in to this house. Uh, but I want him in the boat. I want him in the boat, but I keep putting down torches instead. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can do this this time. Ooh! How have I done this to myself? How have I got myself into this situation? I was trying to help! Okay, get in the boat. Get in the boat. Okay, thank you. Where'd that creeper go? <laughs> Ow. Close that door. Okay. Uh, I need to try to get that other zombie villager in this boat, but I need to kill that creeper. Okay, let's see. Where are you, creepy? Where'd you go? Creepers don't usually wander too far. Where'd he go? Zombie villagers trying to... Ah, there you are. You sneaky little bugger. Coming into my village? Killing my villagers? I don't think so. Where'd you go? Because my, villager, my villagers are also trying to kill my villagers right now, technically. Come here. Friend? Where did... No, not you. Not a friend. Uh, where is other friend? I need to get them inside so that when it turns daytime, they don't burn alive. That's why I need them in here. But I need the other guy as well. Where'd he go? Jerome? Where did you go, Jerome? I'm gonna take... I'm gonna make sure you're all taken care of. Don't even worry about it. I just need you to come get in the boat. Jerome? Come on, friend. Come on. Come on. Jerome... He's a fisherman. Listen, he's one of my own. I need to make sure Jerome is fine. I'm gonna have to get name tags for these guys now, too. <laughs> Whoops. All right, come on, Jerome. Let's go. Come on, over this way. Get in your boat. Quickly, the sun is coming up. Come on. Come on. Almost there. Nearly there. Come get in the boat with your friend. Come on, it's time for boats. It's a boat time party. Come on. Out. Just get in the boat. Out, come on. Okay. All right. They're both in the boat. I'm nearly dead again. I'm just stuck in a corner. But they're both in a boat. That we, well, we've just invented a side quest for ourselves, all right? We need to take care of Jerome and, uh... And, uh, uh... I, I can't think of his name. I'll think of one. I'll think of one. He'll have a name. He'll have a name eventually. So I've got some iron collected. We we found quite a bit. Uh, I organized my inventory a little bit. We've got another dump chest over here that just is going to have just more gubbins in it. I just created an item frame, so now we've got a space to put up our uh, our fortune pick for when we need to mine our ores when we get back from a vault. Because um, we're going to put silk touch on this one. Uh, now, while we wait for some of that iron to cook... How about we make a painting? Because I did try my hand at customizing some paintings. And shout out to Zimbi once more for suggesting what I should swap the paintings out for. I think it's a solid idea. If you've got no idea what the heck he's talking about, what is a swolls? What does that mean? Uh, make sure to come over and uh, check me out during one of my live streams. Come say hi. And uh, I'll tell you all about it. Uh, what do we need for a painting? I think it's just wool and sticks, isn't it? Painting... It's just wool and sticks. Do we have any wool? What are the chances that we'd have some wool? Not not wheel. I don't know what that is. I don't know why I typed it twice. There we go. We do have some wool. Okay, let's make some paintings. Let's see if I can get these to show up. And if see if I've actually done this properly. Where do my where do my sticks go? There's my sticks. Alright, let's make uh let's make however many we can, because why not? Why wouldn't we? Let's make eight paintings. Uh well, I think we only need like four. I didn't replace all of them, just just a few. Let's see what we can get. I only replaced the square ones as well. Because if this works, I might I might do them all, but we'll see. Boom. Okay, that's not one of them. That's also not one of them. Neither is that. Or that. Or that. Or that. Or that. Okay. Okay. We need a smaller area. 
right here. Okay, that that's a that's a potential one. Nope, nope. 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 Hey, hey, there he is. Okay, one of them showed up. There we go. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm glad it worked. You like that, Mark? You You want to go in the vault, Mark? You can't I don't know. I don't think you'd make it. I think you should try to stay away from that portal while that's open, okay, pal? I don't want anything to happen to you. You don't even have a name yet. I mean, you've got a name, but you don't have a name. So just you just chill. Don't even worry about it. We've got plenty of iron now. Let's get some more iron blocks. Two more. We can get our anvil ready. Where did our already made stuff go? There's our iron block. Um, ingots. Okay. Uh, anvil is like this. Cool. And what then? What were we doing? We were making a jewel applicator, right? I should probably save that recipe. Okay, we need some more. We need our... Where do we put our wood? Is that in here? No. Is that in here? No. Is it... No. Is it in here? No. There it is. Uh, I might have to do a, an axe with fortune on it as well, just so going to get wood is less painful. Uh, crafting table. Bonk. And then this and this. And then this. And this. No. No? Oh, it's driftwood planks. Oh, driftwood planks. Okay, I see. All right, well, we've got plenty of driftwood. I didn't know driftwood planks were a thing. Are they new? Okay, jewel applicator. We've got one. Again, I've never used this before. This is this is interesting. What is it going to be? Where are we going to put it? Here? Oh, that kind of looks silly. It's got its own stand anyway. Okay. Holy hell. So if I put this tool in the middle, what does it do? So this is what this tool is right now. Nine mining speed picking if we were to put this jewel onto this pick so without having without actually doing the process it'll tell you what it changes so yeah our capacity goes from 100 to 50 and we get ornate that's all this does pretty easy to understand why is it saying 50 size 69 size nice why does it have two sizes okay what jewels do we have do we have any that are kind of better to put on a, a, a pickaxe than just ornate for half the size? What what jewels do we have already? Because we do have a few. We've got a 29 size item quantity. 16 for vanilla immortality. 79 for soulbound is not very good. 76 is not very good. Shoveling. 35 for soulbound. Okay, so we don't really have anything super amazing. We could put... We could put, you know, item quantity on it for 29 size. Just to test it out. I'd rather do that than use the... Uh, ornate one that they gave us in the quest book but that's okay let's try it out boom so yeah we're still gonna have 71 capacity left on the pick so we can still add things to it it's gonna go from a level zero pick to a level three pick uh and yeah and we're gonna get plus 0 0.8 percent item quantity so we're gonna get ever so slightly tiny little bit more items uh or or, or when we mine with our with our pickaxe so that's kind of cool let's put that on there Boom. We've got our new pick. And let's uh, let's quickly enchant it while we've got the chance as well. Uh, and let's enchant this bad boy up. We're going to want efficiency because we want it to mine quickly. Um, silk touch because it's coming with us in the vaults. And unbreaking because we want it to last as long as possible. Because it's very expensive to repair the vault hunter tools. All right. Well, I think we're going to leave it there for for today. I think that's a pretty solid spot to end the episode. We 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 got some more resources. We made some more tools, more progress through the quest book, of course. Uh wait, let's finish this before we start on to the next one. Uh with our chromatic steel ingots. Very good. Uh next time, we're going to make our way through the quest book a little more, maybe do some dark magic as well to kind of fix our zombie pals that uh, uh we may or may not have caused inadvertently. Um, and we'll jump into that vault because we really shouldn't have left it just sitting there this whole time. It it, it beckons. It, uh, it's been sitting there since the Pirate Day special. So <laughs> we'll go in next time as well, probably. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye. Bye, Mark. See you later. Bye.